after the operation, things were absolutely fine. Um, I was a bit kind of unsteady on my feet, but just because of the anaesthetic, I think, not because of my ear. By about the third or fourth day, I was going out for a short walk with the dog. So within a week, I was, you know, showering, washing my hair. I felt back to normal. The, w the wound, which is tiny, it's a tiny, tiny little wound, was a bit tender, but nothing more than that. It was absolutely fine. Before the switch on, Nigel and I were incredibly nervous. Neither of us had slept much the night before. I was worrying about it and he was having bad dreams. We were nervous. Who wouldn't be nervous? Today we've got your processor and by the end of this session it'll be on and sound will be going in. Now I need to find out how much current to put through on the different electrodes to get you just listening. So how much current just starts to stimulate the nerve. I'll play some sounds and I'll get you to just raise your hand um, when you hear something. Okay. okay. Oh, um, a sensation. I wouldn't call it a sound. Yeah. If you get a sensation, you could put your hand okay, up. Right. Okay. okay. These are so faint. I'll go up a bit. Okay. And you know what you're listening for. Okay. Possibly. Oh. It's finished now. Okay. We've done the listening for quiet sounds. Now I'm going to make the sounds a bit louder so it should be a bit easier. I'm going to go louder and louder. You can be looking at me and I just want you to say stop when it gets to a level that's loud. Stop. That's yeah. Too loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it much. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was painfully loud, but okay. it's just like... Okay, well, I'll, do, I'll go back down a little bit again. Just tell me to stop. Okay, when, when... okay. I think maybe stop. I don't think I like this. Okay. <laughs> One more. Stop with that. Yeah. Stop. It's another... It's, it's the high-pitched yeah. ones that are making me jump, but... Not I've not heard well, them. Well. That bit's finished, okay. I've made all the measurements I need to. Okay. So the next thing to do is to actually turn it on to activate it. You might be able to follow speech, but more than likely, it's just gonna sound very strange. When I switch it on, initially, it'll probably be a bit quiet. I can turn it up a bit, but we prefer to start quiet and turn it up. So if you're both ready, yeah. take your hearing aid out, we'll switch okay. it on. What do I sound like? I'm sounding like, you sound like I haven't got um, yeah, like I haven't got hearing aids in, incredibly quiet. When I speak, there's something squeaky going on in my ear. But when you speak, it's incredibly quiet. But could you make out, oh, you're lip reading me. Could you make out what I said? <laughs> I know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> you're too predictable. <laughs> Just then, I was just gradually increasing it. Do you want me to take the volume up a little bit yes. more? Yeah. Okay, so if I say something now, can you hear my voice? Is it coming through or do you need a bit more volume? I'm, I'm not, I can hear me. Well, I can hear sound when I speak. Yeah. It's really weird, but I can hear sound. Yeah. But I, I feel like I'm hearing my voice without any hearing aids in and your voice without any hearing aids in and then this 
weird squeaking in my ear. Yeah, so that's your brain probably looking at the lip patterns, yes. knowing that something's being said, but not connecting it with the sound yes. that you're getting. That's fine. I just want to make sure that you can hear something while I'm speaking. So obviously you're going to hear your voice the best yes, because it's right next to speak, the speak, yeah. this thing is squeaking away. Right, okay. And you keep speaking. So is it the same for me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Am I squeaking? Am I like a Dalek? It's not, not speech-like. Yeah. But it's a noise. Squeaky. I can hear something. Right. I'm going to give you some programs that have got, you know, increased stepping up in volume. So if you want to change, if you feel by, you know, two days it's gone down a bit, you can step it up. Okay. Is there something? January. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? January. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> June. You said June. Yes. June. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So already it's probably settling down, even over the session. Yeah. I'll do a recording of her sneezing. That will frighten me. <laughs> For me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> OK, can you take that off? Take this off. Which bit you put on first? Well, sure, yeah. It's probably easier to hook it on your ear first. Okay. If you can do it that way. Yeah, so just the sit wires. A bit, yeah, yeah, sit a bit yeah. nicer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. thanks for your sure. help. Thank no you very problem. much. And after that, we met with um, Andy, who's a technological person, and he talked us through the unbelievable amount of bits of kit that you get given to cope with different situations. I think I had my hearing aid back in at that point to let me try to make some sense of it, but I was still getting the squeaking, so it was all very disorientating. How's it sounding? Is it all right or...? Very weird. Very weird. Just take a break getting used to it. I'm getting you through my hearing aid and squeaking right, right. through here. Right, oh. Yeah. You'll soon, it'll get better. You'll get used to it. Yeah, things. yeah. So what I'm going to do is just go through all the equipment with you. Just explain what everything is, how it all works. OK. OK. This bit's called the coil. That's obviously the bit with the magnet that's mm -hmm. on the side of your head. Yeah. You've got a coil cable there. The battery pack is at the bottom. Yeah. And then this top part is the actual processor itself. Okay. So that's the main part at the top. Okay. So nice and simple. That bit just comes Pulls off out. the end. To get that cable out, you just need to make sure that the cover's down first. Okay. And then that cable will just pull out. straight out. Okay. When the cover comes down, it automatically switches off for you. Okay. And then as soon as you push the cover all the way up, it will switch on. Okay. You've got three rechargeable batteries, and this is the charger for it. So, so you I'm just, just getting on. a bit distracted because your voice is starting to come through instead okay. of squeaking. Right. right, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's good that it's doing that already then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a good, <clears throat> good just a bit. Yeah. I was pleased I could hear something, um, and I knew it would take time to um let my brain get used to that but i wasn't anxious i was just pleased that it was all working and i could start the process of moving on to learning to hear again you have got the option to also use disposable batteries you've got this as a backup for you what we've got here is a bluetooth neck loop so basically what you would do with that is you would wear that round your neck. Yeah. That then links up to anything that's got Bluetooth. Okay. So again, like a tablet or something that you or wanted phone. to listen to, phone or sat nav, and that sound will go straight through to your processor then. Okay. But without any cables. So then we went to see um, Jill, who's a speech and language therapist, reassuring me that the odd noises I was hearing were perfectly normal. 
but more importantly, giving me material with which to come home and to practice with Nigel to try to move on. It sounds like a disembodied something up here, yeah. but it's, it, it's already sounding a bit more like speech. Okay, so when, uh, when Andy was talking, after a while, this ear, he was sounding like very high-pitched words, okay. whereas immediately it was switched on. It was just, you know. The more you listen, the better that sound is going to get, but you're going to have to be patient with it and with yourself because it is going to take time. You might feel quite tired. You might find um, you're tempted to just take it off for a while, but try not to. So what I'm going to start with, it's not speech at all. I thought I'd just play you some different background sounds. Oh, okay. And we talk about those to start with. Gosh. Gosh. Yeah. What's it like? Um, it was like a very loud... Um, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Right, next one. Telephone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a telephone, yeah. like quite like a loud yeah. hands free telephone. Oh, it doesn't sound like our doorbell, but it you can tell it's going bing 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 bing. Yeah. Now, you're going to hear a lot of different sounds at home, outside, um, everywhere you go. Nigel, you might want to just let Vera know um, if there's a sound happening in the room and perhaps you might want to ask if you're not sure. Sure, sure. Because when you know what you're listening to, yeah. you know about these sounds, you've heard them before, yeah. um, it helps you make sense of them. Yeah. I'm going to try one or two things that are more about speech. With these exercises, you'll just be using your listening and you might be using the words in front of you to support what you're hearing, but you won't be lip reading. I'm going to start with some different sentences and they're all about the same topic. So they're all about time. So I want you to look down at the sentence, but don't look at me. Okay. okay. What time is it? My appointment is at 10.30. Did he leave on time? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them up now. Okay. I'm going to say one of them randomly. Okay. And I want you to just work out which one I've said. Okay. okay. Yep. See you soon. See you soon. Good. Mm. Oh, no looking at lips. Hmm? No looking at lips. I no didn't cheating. look at her lips. <laughs> <laughs> How long will it take to get to Florida? I didn't even finish it. I know, I know, that was good, wasn't it? How can we replicate this at home and do a bit of it at home? I'm going to give you oh. these to take home. <laughs> it's your homework. Okay, done it good. Do you want to try one? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Did he leave on time? Did he leave on time? Yeah. My appointment is at 10.30. Excellent. OK. So, I'll give you a pack of these to take yeah. home. Yeah. Um, and you can just work through them. Now, this is something called text tracking. And you're just going to track my voice as I okay. read the words. Every so often, I'm going to stop talking. So I might go boiled, baked, roasted. And I'll stop. And you'll tell me where well, you've got to. Because roasted was the last word. Okay, okay. Boiled, baked, roasted, or fried, the potato. After potato. Is a versatile vegetable. It also produces nutritious food. Food. Quicker and on less land than any other major crop. Crop. <laughs> The potato could just prove prove to be a buried treasure. Buried treasure. Okay. That's good. <laughs> so, 
So try these with different people if you can. Yeah. It's just a really nice way again to focus on people's voices without lip reading, but you've got that text there to yeah. support what you're listening to. Yeah. You want to try one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's called sentence building. Sentence building. The sentence begins, I bought some. Okay. I bought some. Yeah. And then I'm going to add a word. I bought some shoes. No idea. I bought some shoes. Shoes. I bought some shoes from the shop. From the shop? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Nigel volunteers at a primary school and he's probably used to this. It's a hard one to try. You've only been switched on for a short while. So you did really if well. you reassuring, Jill. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you all these to take home. Do these um, every day if you can, maybe just for a few minutes at a time, and just really focus on listening without looking at the other person. These exercises are just part of it. It's really the people you're with, the conversations you're going to be having this week that are going to be giving you lots of sound, different things to work with. The more people um, you're having face-to-face -face conversations with, I think the better. Okay. I think that was a really good start, though. Yeah, I know, I'm feeling... I think just to begin with, it's just... People tell you that it's a weird, squeaky voice, but until it actually starts doing weird squeakiness in your head, you don't really appreciate. Well, we came out into the reception area and Anne, the receptionist, who's a lovely woman, said, how does it sound, Vera? And I said, weird. And she said, they all say that. <laughs> and that was nice. That was nice. So as soon as we were out of the hospital environment, I became much more aware of how different everything sounded. We came home with a whole folder of these things and um, ready to start, really.